Sorry about the delay for those that were waiting, but we have started. So thank you so much, everyone that came through today to the Melsoft Academy open day slash September cohort welcome slash weekly check-in. That's a lot of slash, slash, slash. Um, my name is Larit. I'm the founder of Melsoft Academy, and I will be taking you guys through, but before I start, would like everyone in the room to introduce themselves. We're going to go like this. So everyone, just tell us your name, your role, and why you're here. Starting with Lorraine. Hi, guys. My name is Lorraine, and I'm part of this that is from And I'm here because you're here. <laughs> So I'm the marketing assistant at the and developer at Microsoft. My name is Dave. Um, I'm Zanash. I'm doing the cybersecurity at Software. Okay, sorry. Guys, are you shy? Are you guys shy? <laughs> is everything okay? What's going on? Tonight you're not normally low. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the cyber security um, lecturer and mentor, and I also have to be a software engineering as well. Okay, I'm Dave. Hmm. Speaking it into existence. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Vincent, software engineer student. Hi, everyone. Bridget here. Um, also, software engineer. Coaching cohort. Hi, everyone. My name is Vinny. I'm software info student as well. April slash Jim Carr. It's okay, you don't have to know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Lauren. It's my first time here, but I'm a software engineer. Thanks for asking. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hi, I'm Elder Mabasu. And I was a software developer, and I came here to join the cybersecurity academy. Do you speak Portuguese? Yes. Ah, nice. Nice. Obrigado. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Lorena. I'm a software developer at the Uh And I want to Cool. Thank you so much. Good to know each other. For the online online guys, 
this is why you should you should come to to the campus guys this is why you guys should come but um for the sake of time we're just gonna move on for most of you guys you've already seen this presentation i think 25 times now um but it's gonna just be the same welcoming our new new students as well as those that are interested that are on the call um so welcome to melsoft guys i'm very happy for all of you guys that are here um learn to code and get hired in six to 12 months what does that mean you will you'll be able to understand why we have such a big promise and how we do our best to make sure that we fulfill that promise um we've now trained more than 200 students that's excluding our free trial and our free free courses on the on the on the app by, by the way free trial is not is not existent there's no such thing by the way it's, it's gone it's not it's not there anymore so in today's chat we're just going to talk about these things our mission how we started our team how the whole thing works uh, course curriculum just in little uh, briefs the career opportunities that await you and uh, our learning platform how that works you guys are extremely privileged and extremely blessed to be in this room today you are so blessed because whatever you have in your mind that you want to achieve for your career this is the place to do it it just depends on you as a person as an individual for you guys for some of you guys that listened to the um, that were on the webinar yesterday how many of you guys were on the webinar yesterday okay, one, two, three, four, five. okay cool um yeah i think i i think you heard me stress the importance of you as the horse drinking right so it's all up to you it's all in your hands it's like uh if you guys watch formula one formula one fans like me crazy formula one if you start the race on poll you're expected to win the race right you guys are now in poor position to achieve your dream career outcome it's all up to you okay so we're gonna just go into into detail on how to make the the most of this incredible opportunity that you guys have so why did we start melsoft why did we start why did a 26 year old and a 20 year old at the time decide to start this company right so this company started by young people maybe younger than than you for some of you guys <laughs> right <laughs> um so it's a very young company we're very energetic we're always improving always always improving always improving constantly improving the biggest reason why we started melsoft academy was to address the rate of youth unemployment, especially in South Africa, where you have 60% of young people with no jobs, which we found to be incredible because on the tech side of things, there is a massive tech skills shortage, right? How many people do you guys know that are highly skilled in AI? How many guys, how many people do you know that are very, very skilled in, in AI? How many people do you know? One. Two individuals. Okay, that's good. That's good. So the reason I'm mentioning is AI is such a high demand skill, but there's not many, not many people are actually highly skilled in that. So we saw a gap to fix unemployment by training people giving you skills giving you access to come here meet people and in the same way when you guys are upskilled and you are crushing it we are solving the global tech skills shortage so we started in south africa we are not ending in south africa this is where we started but we are not ending here we have ambitions to go global to take this to all four corners of the earth and with amazing team members that we have, the team that we have, we are gonna get there, right? So this is your home, guys. This is your home. This is where you achieve all your goals. Every, everything good? All right, 
cool. So just to give you guys a, a brief background. So like I mentioned, firstly, we started off in college. Microsoft was uh, started off in college, starting off with um, CV design because I was just sitting and everyone around me was looking for a job in my final year. Everyone was looking for a job and people had these word CVs and they were ugly. <laughs> they were bad and I'd look at them and be like, wow, there's no way you're going to get a job with that, right? And at the same time, Canva was just getting popular. So I would design a CV in Canva and sell it for $5, which is like 100 grand. And there was a lot of interest, a lot of interest, a lot of interest, because everyone around me was looking for a job besides me because I'm crazy, right? Then Canva also has other features like logo design, poster design, what, what, what. Then we started offering that as well. Then the code bug hit. The code bug hit. My first um, dip in code was with Cold Steel's web developer bootcamp. I don't know if anyone has taken that bootcamp before on Udemy. That's where it started. And naturally, we just became a software development company. Uh, we won some awards in 2020 as one of the best top software development companies um, by Clutch, the manifest and good firms. And in the top 20, we were always the only black owned company. And I thought there was something very wrong with that. But I guess maybe tech is a, is a white dominated industry, right? Um, then we ended up adding more, more skills to what we offer. So in addition to just software development, we started dabbling in SEO, in Google ads and all these things. And I also advise you guys to follow the same approach, right? Does anyone, is anyone familiar with the T-shaped person? What a T-shaped person looks like? No one knows. Okay. Cat. Okay. So what you want to be is you want to be a t-shaped person so what that means is you have one skill that you are really good at that you are the best in the world at like a core skill that people know you for that one core skill right but then you also want to add other skills that are complementary to your core so in those other skills you don't necessarily be a professional at them but you're good enough to know and to contribute to conversations that are going on right so maybe if you're doing if you're doing software development try to add maybe some seo skills some uh, graphic design skills some ui ux design skills just to make you stand out because right now the job market for those that are looking for jobs it's extremely competitive it's extremely competitive it's never been as competitive you're competing with guys from uct from uj from vets for the same job and now that the world is now globalized you're also competing with people in pakistan and bangladesh that will do your work for one tenth of what they pay you in south africa just go on fifa.com you can get a website for like 20 dollars today and a good one so those are the people that you're competing with. So if you just have one skill and you're not adding more value, you're, you'll struggle. You'll still get a job. Everyone here will still break into tech, right? But you don't want it to be a struggle. You want it to just come naturally, right? So two years down the line, this is when we launched Melsoft Academy. This is when the idea came to train people and we enrolled our first cohort, our March cohort in 2023. Um, yeah, and it's been a long journey. It's been a short journey, but it's been a long journey since then. Then this year in 2024, we finally managed to get our QCTO accreditation through a partnership with another company that has it um yeah i think for those that were on the webinar yesterday we we, we went in in depth with that and if you want to learn more about the accreditation i think aiden we can send them an email with the recording and you can check it on youtube and we also ranked the second best boot camp in south africa by nasi spani <laughs> 
yeah, second best after one year, right? Which is, I mean, our the person, the company that came first has been in business for 10 years and we are already knocking on their doors. So we are the best. They tell us we're second best. We don't agree. We don't agree. I don't like being number two. Does anyone like being number two? Who, who is the second person who went to the moon? Does anyone know? Who's the first person who went to the moon? See now. Number two means nothing. We have to be number one. And we will get there with all of you guys. Everyone here has to play a part. We can't do it alone. It can't just be the team. It can't just be the founders. It's all of you guys. And the way you guys help us to get to number one, you submit your assignments on time, you do your projects, you just kill the boot camp. And then when you guys go out there and you're working and people say, where are you coming from? Then you say, I'm coming from Melsoft Academy. And they're like, wow, Melsoft Academy. We need more of them. That's the role that you guys play. Are you excited to be number one? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. So yeah, that's that's pretty much our our background. Does anyone have a question or anything they'd like to know? All right, no question. All right, cool. So in terms of our team, that picture is a picture of me and my best friend and my brother and my co-founder as well. A lot of people say we look alike. I don't see it, Tinashe. I agree with that love. Yeah, he's extremely more handsome than I am. Uh, <laughs> yes, but we do have a, a six-year age gap. But everywhere we go, people are like, are you guys twins? Are you guys twins? Yeah, I guess I look young, right? So that's my brother. That's my co-founder. He's currently in Minneapolis in America, working together every single day to bring America to South Africa. That's our next objective. Um, we have a team of 12. You've met almost everyone, all right, that's in here and other guys that are remote and other guys that are on a contractor basis. And our team average age is 25. I don't know if this is accurate now. I don't know. Because we've recently added a few 19 and 20 year olds. So, our team is very young and we do that intentionally we want to keep it young we want to keep it fresh we want to keep fresh ideas coming all the time right um with the combined 30 years of experience and in that picture you'll see a combination of our students and our staff from uh from the last the first networking event that we had some of them are in this room right yeah there's glad man and mellow yeah so that's our team and we are here to serve you guys we are here for you we are we are here to help you achieve your goals we're not here to make life harder for you if you see something that you don't like or something that you you have an idea on how we can improve a certain concept please reach out because that's the only way we're going to get to number one. It's through, it's through improvement and it's through feedback. Please don't hold stuff. It happens quite a lot. Uh, maybe you're in a um, pay project or something is happening and then you hold it in, you hold it in for two weeks, three weeks, and then later on I'm hearing um, I want to leave the boot camp. Then we have that call. Why do you want to leave the boot camp? Oh, three weeks ago, this and this thing happened, and this and this was said. Now I'm not happy. I'm like, you could have just messaged me, and this would have been dealt with, right? So please feel free, reach out to me. My link is always there. At any given time, you can book me for 15 minutes, uh, chat to me, we solve your problem, right? We're here, we're here to serve you guys. Cool. Everyone, no one is scary. No one is, is scary, except maybe Lorraine. Because when Lorraine messages you, it's business, right? Cool. Um, so is a career in tech a safe bet? What do you guys think? Let's hear, let's chat, guys. Do you think a, a career in tech is a safe bet? 
Kaldı. That's true. Coquetto? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I know a lot of people in the States, actually. And they all say, I mean, they all came for companies that are outside of the country. And they are headhunted like crazy, you know, because of the state skills. So, yeah. Take care. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. So this is the, the weird paradox about tech. It's definitely a safe bet, but your first year, or maybe your, nah, your first year, your first year, your first year is always the hardest because no one knows about you. No one cares about you. You're just a junior. And there are so many juniors now because you have free courses, you have Udemy, you have YouTube, you don't know, people are taking courses and then they can, they build something, uh, one or two websites, then they start applying for a job, right? And everyone now knows that tech is, is the in thing. So your first year is usually the hardest simply because there's a big, big competition, big, big competition. But then with more experience, once you get to year two, year three, year four, you become untouchable once you become a senior you become untouchable especially if you know your stuff and you're actually good at solving problems so be patient this is another thing that many people fail to understand this is a long-term career it's not a it's not a um, I'm going to do this course and then once I do it, I get my job, I get my internship, but what, what, and I'm done. I stop learning, I stop improving, I'm set. That, this is not how it works. It's a long-term game. At the moment, for me personally, I'm 28. I'm still a baby. I still haven't started. I'm still warming up. You know, like in, in, the, in the soccer games, when the, when the game hasn't started, they're just running, they're just stretching. It's not even minute one in the game. It's warm up. So this is where you all are. You're still warming up. Be patient. Constantly be learning. Constantly be improving. Never stop taking courses. Um, just never stop improving. And if you give yourself, if you give yourself five years, right give yourself five years give yourself 10 years there's this saying by patrick bed david someone knows anyone knows patrick bed david no one knows no ways i need to plug you guys i need to plug you so he has this saying uh he's one of one of the most inspirational entrepreneurial figures on on the internet and he has this saying on the difference between people that are good and people that are great People that are good think about today and they think about tomorrow. They think very short term. But people that are great, they think in decades. They think 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And this is why LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time. This is why Cristiano is the greatest soccer player of all time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing some some haters. Maybe they like that Argentine more. <laughs> Who's the god? Because he rigged. Because he rigged the World Cup. <laughs> no, Messi is Messi is good, but he's second, second best. I mean, we can have this this chat the whole day. We all know who has the most goals. Yeah, the ones that he stole from Lewandowski and them, we know, but it's fine. But the, the, the moral of the story is that Messi didn't, Messi and Ronaldo didn't play for, for five years. They played for 20 years and they were fantastic every single year. That's why they are considered the best. 
um, you can argue that maybe Ronaldo, R9, the OG Ronaldo, or Ronaldinho, or all these other guys were also great. But then those guys were great for like three years or four years. Pele. Yeah. You see, you have to be, you have to be good over a long period of time. So that's that's the moral of the story. Not not who's the, the greatest uh, soccer player, although it's Ronaldo. <laughs> so how much do tech professionals make? So this is according to Offerzen. Anyone know Offerzen? You know Offerzen, right? Um, I would recommend you guys to set up your profiles on Offerzen, maybe after a year because they do help you get jobs. But nowadays, Offerzen is more, it's more for seniors, right? Yeah. But what they found when they do, they do these annual surveys, they send out emails to everyone and you have to submit. Um, junior devs with no to two years experience make around 25K on average. Um, I will say this data includes people that have degrees. And them and people that are being hired by the banks and the and the big startups and what what what. So I always say, guys, your first year you're gonna eat dead. I'm telling you, your first year, get an opportunity, take the opportunity. Once you have that opportunity, maximize it as much as you can. Deliver such an incredible amount of value to your company that by the time you renegotiate your salary they have no they have no choice your company should be afraid to lose you besides the people that work at Microsoft, mm -hmm. please don't make me afraid right your company should be like wow what an asset it's not these are the this industry is not um let's say a cashier job at at checkers where you're just another number and you're just you're just in the system you know you have to be a valuable asset. You have to make your company more money than they pay you. Otherwise, it's not worth hiring you. This is the this is the world we live in now. So your first job, just take it, take it, take it, take it. My first job, I was making six thousand rand a month. That was my first job, and now five years later, Lorraine can testify, I'm making zero. <laughs> right? Anyway, it's an inside joke. So. Then you'll see on cities, um, Joburg people make more later down the line in their careers. And then for American people, people that want to work in America, you guys would, you guys would make uh, an even bigger killing when it comes to a salary. So if you want to position yourself for that market, just know that the competition is intense. The American market, the competition there is crazy but it's possible like like you mentioned there are people that are working for international companies um we also work with some uk companies in our agency like future core and bright minds so it's very much possible as long as you're good enough okay okay cool and then moving on to the career opportunities so if you take our software developer bootcamp, you are well positioned to work in web dev, either as a front or a back end. Um, if you take our cybersecurity bootcamp, you are positioned to become a cybersecurity analyst. And if you take our UI UX design bootcamp, you are positioned to become a UI UX designer, right? Um, other jobs are data science and just IT consultant. But for those of you guys that want more, maybe you feel like you're special and you can do more and you can handle pressure and you want to uh, make a lot more, then the other pathways are where there's more money. For example, a startup founder, you can make an unlimited amount of money, right? As long as you solve a problem. Solve a problem, you use technology, you use um, the skills that you learn here to solve a problem, you build one product, then you go and sell it. And it's never been easier to be a startup founder. It's never been easier to build a product that's needed thanks to AI. AI has made life so much easier. You can build a, a WhatsApp chatbot in like two days. 
And as long as it solves a specific problem in your sector or in your niche, you can approach companies and start selling, right? Um, you can be a freelancer where you work on projects here and there. Um, you can be a tech mentor or a coach. Best believe once you get halfway through the bootcamp, there are other people that are just starting out that want the knowledge that you have. So you can start sharing that knowledge with them. And that's why most of the time our mentors normally are people that did our bootcamp because they did our material, they know how it works, they did well in it, and they can impart that knowledge to you, right? You'll be surprised at how much you actually know. You'll be surprised. Then you can be a content creator or a tech influencer. Anyone seen my TikToks? One, two, three, only. Okay, everyone, right? Yeah, it, it does open doors. It does do a lot if you just start creating content, especially if you're a female. This is for the ladies. There are not many good content creators that are consistent. So that's another path. Um, then you can be a plugin dev where you just build software that plugs into other softwares. But like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all up to you. It's all up to you to choose whatever you choose. Nothing is better than the other. It's all up to you. Maybe you prioritize work-life balance and you like to work uh, from nine to five and then from five to nine, you have family commitments or you wanna spend time with your loved ones and that's, that's what you wanna do. Then you can go on the left side, right? There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're just constantly learning, constantly improving, making sure that you are the best. You just have to make sure that you are the best. You are the best. You are the best. You are competing. It's a competition. Life is a race. It's a race. The job that you want, someone else wants it. It's like a, if, if, even in dating. The girl that you want, someone else wants her. Am I lying, Helga? Girls, the guy that you want, other girls want him too because they see what you see, right? So always position yourself to be the best option. And you do that through training, constantly improving, constantly getting better, constantly learning, and everything will fall into place. Okay, now we're almost done now. And then we'll just take the last questions. So how does it work? You learn online, Mostly you're gonna do most of your work online. And once a week we come, you sit with your mentors. If you have any issues, um, they help you out face to face, you make connections. Coming to campus is, there's a, there are a lot of benefits. There were a few guys that came from the MUD cohort that managed to land jobs downstairs just by being here, right? Um, you just come. When you come, don't just sit with, us only right just go downstairs maybe sit sit at the reception meet people talk to people grow your network because we work is an international international office space they have branches all over the world and there are people that come here from all over the world they sit they network they connect so if you want to network don't come and sit with us go to the reception area that's the best place I feel like we're not really utilizing that as much. Um, then internship is at the end or during. Thanks to our new partnership with Take to the Rescue, we can now start offering internships during the bootcamp. Um, some of them are paid, some of them are unpaid. That depends on the client, that depends on the project, that depends on how well you are doing as, as well in the bootcamp, right? It's a lot of factors. And then at the end, we we'll help prepare you for a full-time job. Ideally, you want to turn your internship into a full-time job. Ideally, because if someone gives you an opportunity, you just have to grab it with everything, especially for the first year. It's just, first year is hard. But after that, things start to get a lot easier. Opportunities start to spread. And then, yeah, you're pretty much set for life after that and then how does it work again so 
um, our on our on our platform, you will see a lot of pre-recorded videos and pre-recorded notes and pre-recorded challenges that are there. And then once a week, we have live lectures in your cohorts, which is also a new feature that was implemented. Then in your courses, you also have quizzes just to test if you're if you're doing well, if you understood the concept. Don't just mark complete, mark complete, mark complete, mark complete, mark complete. Because that's it's gonna come to bite you in the end, right? Spend time reading concepts, it's fine. Maybe you are on a six-month track, uh, but it takes you longer. Maybe it takes you eight months, maybe it takes you nine months. It's fine, be patient. Why are you why are you in a hurry? This is a 20-year game. If you are if you are late by three months over 20 years, that's nothing. Right. There are a lot of people that come in and then they have the mentality of I need to get this now. I only have six months. Um, then it shows them flames. JavaScript shows you flames. React shows you flames. Or maybe pen testing shows you flames for our cyber people. And then you get so discouraged and you're like, nah, this is not for me. You have forgotten why you started because you're being impatient. Relax, calm down. Okay. Um, then mentors are available. I don't want to say 24 seven. <laughs> <laughs> They're available from nine to five. Okay. Uh, Mondays to Fridays, Saturdays. No. Okay. Saturdays. There you go. Mentors are available. Mentors are there to help you. Mentors are not there to do the work for you. They're not there to write code for you they're not there to give you answers they're there to guide you and say go this way watch this youtube video read this article do this do this do this that's what they're there for they're not there to do the work for you right because you won't be able to learn and then how do we grade this boot camp is through projects so you have individual and you have group projects and those scores are that's all i look at right so for me some of you guys book me quite frequently and we're having conversations and i know where you are i know what you're struggling with and that's fine but there are some of you guys that never book me at all not even once some of you guys you know yourselves so the only way i can know is by opening the spreadsheet that's the only way I can know. So now when I see blank, 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 or 60%, 48%, then I, I reach out to Melissa, then, you know, it doesn't make you look good. So submit your projects on time, all the time. That's all. That's pretty much it. Submit your projects on time, all the time, and you're set. Um, and you will definitely complete, you'll definitely pass. Jim, am I lying? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I think that's all. Do we, oh yeah, the three boot camps we have software, cyber, and UI UX design. And then remember to get 1% better every day. Just do something every day, whether whether it's spending eight hours a day on your project, or maybe that day, your day is not uh, going so well, you just got dumped or something, you know, sometimes life happens, right? Um, just do something. Watch a YouTube video, uh, do a, a JavaScript coding challenge, just do something. Coding is like going to the gym. You will see results by doing it every day. And not just coding, I'm, I'm, I'm generalizing a lot. So when I say coding, I'm just, I mean, what you guys are doing, right? You, you, you get better by doing something every single day instead of binging like Netflix. You can't, you can't binge code. You can't say, I'm not going to do anything for, the, for, the, for, for one week. Then on Sunday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a marathon from eight to eight. It doesn't work like that. You just have to look at the stuff every single day and just be patient, okay? And then I think you guys have access to the platform. So, you know, we have the social networking features, the online lessons, 
You can also download it on web and Android. We should add iOS. Please let's add that to the to the backlog to work on the iOS app. Um, there's an AI chatbot called Leo on the app, but you can also just use ChatGPT really. Um, yeah. Then in-person and online events, these are big, big, big for opportunities. Like for example, end of this month, we're gonna host a hackathon. Please participate guys. This hackathon is for you. It's for you. It's not for people outside. We are gonna win it, right? Please let's win. It would be it would suck if we we hosted we have Mills of the Academy. We are the best bootcamp in South Africa. We are hosting our own hackathon, and then we come third in our own hackathon. Yeah, no, that won't look good. So let's win. We have to win at all costs. If you need, should we should we add people? Should we prep people before or? I don't know what we need to do, <laughs> but we need to win, right? So this type of event, even if you don't participate as a programmer or as a hacker or as a designer, you can also participate as a project manager where your job is just to manage the team, motivate the team, and then on the day you present the solution. That's a very key role because you'll be judged on how good your presentation was. So just find a role for yourself and be the best in your role. Let's have three months of teams finish first, second, and third. Then we just demonstrate that we are the best, right? Um, then the international accreditation, this is there for those that want to write the international certs. So for cyber, it's the CompTIA, the Cisco uh, exams. Uh, for software, you have the um, international JSE exams, that's optional. If you want to write those, you can write those. Just gives you an edge, right? Oh yes, and the grandfather, the, the best one, AWS. So, huh? yeah, no, that one is not optional. For, for software people, write AWS. It's just so hot. Is it hard? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so AWS is there just due to industry demand. Like, uh, the, the, they are craving it. You don't get many people with AWS certificates, right? And yeah, these are some of the reviews. I think you can you can check them online if you haven't already. Some of our success stories you can check them online again if you haven't already. And yeah, now we'll just take questions. Are there any questions on the chat on uh, Google or in the floor or any additions? Yes, Jim. So, to get an internship, what does it take? What does come in my six months? The requirements after six months, I get my internship. Are there any requirements? Yeah, there are requirements. So I think we shared, especially for, with, for the new students, I think there's something that you guys see before you start, right? So you have to attend your classes and manage, is it what, 80% attendance? 90? Yo. <laughs> attend 90%, right? If you're not, if you can't attend, just tell us in advance. Just tell us in advance and then we don't penalize you. We just need you to communicate that I'm not gonna come, right? Um, sorry. Oh, we should have passed around the mic. Okay, Mr. Jimu. Um, the question is, what do I need to do to get an internship? So maintain good attendance rate, maintain 75% in your classes, in your projects. Um, don't be a bum, just don't be a bum. <laughs> Right, don't cause us problems. Um, AWS, do your AWS set, and do the job readiness prep, which we're gonna be starting from next week. We're gonna do once every week for the next six weeks, how to get a job. It's gonna be a, like a, a weekly chat where you work on your LinkedIn, work on your CV, work on your portfolio, and we just do it together as one. Then for those that are gonna come later, they'll watch the pre-recordings. So did I leave anything? 
and complete the boot camp. Yeah, and finish it to the last level, which is the easiest part, right, Sintley? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Any other questions? No other questions. No other questions, Your Honor. All right. So for those online, the the it's not a it's not a question. It's just saying that. Um, for those in September cohort, tomorrow you will have your first cohort meeting at 12 online. So just be on your machines at 12. And yeah, how much is the bootcamp and where and how do I apply? Um, uh, please just share the link to the pricing and the application form for Vic Vic Africa. All right. That's all, guys. Thank you so much. See you on the next chat next week for job, job prep. With the hand, Kia. They left. All right. Thank you, guys.